हेलो 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 यस ऑडिबल और नॉट गुड इवनिंग सर या या गुड so uh, my name is jasdeep uh, i would be taking the refresher and air conditioning this time and uh, so today we would be starting from the basics uh, i want to uh, first of all i want to know, like uh, uh, how many of you were there at the i was teaching the thermodynamics there if uh, more people would not be there then some basics will let you know and uh, then we will start like how many of you are new here first time yes sir i am the new i am also new sir mai yes sir maine isko mol diya kar kisi ka trap ho gaya pane bande to aap wo pass mat kar mujhe bar bar aaye mat wo sakta hai ki isko ke to aaye hai Okay, so I would suggest like uh, please turn off your mic if uh, some question is there. Then you can turn on. Okay. So um, here uh, we will deal with the refrigeration and air conditioning. Okay. So what is the refrigeration? Can anyone define? Anyone right or wrong? Not doesn't matter. We just define. Bring down temperature of a body. What? bringing down temperature of a body mm. or extracting heat or cooling okay so what uh, anyone more reducing the uh, temperature of body below atmospheric temperature hmm okay so what closer like uh, we can maintaining a space like this is a space uh, we have to maintain it and this is the surrounding so let's suppose surrounding temperature is t and uh, hot and it's a so if you are we want to maintain t1 below t0 so uh, in steady state condition what will happen it will try to transfer from here to here but if you if you want to uh, maintain this place as at t1 then means refrigeration you can define as to maintain a this temperature below than the surrounding temperature so whichever uh, means phenomena you are doing that uh, refrigeration okay so for that it is not it would not be natural process for natural process means the transfer should be take uh, any how it would be took place from higher to lower but uh, we don't want that so refrigeration will come into picture so uh, for from basic thermodynamics uh, maybe would have told um, if so, uh, who, who ever don't know like they they should uh, try like this uh, anyone knows what is the op- because in refrigeration we would be dealing with the open systems anyone what is open system both transfer okay. so here both like air transfer would also be there along with the mass transfer so uh, any exa- some examples like which devices can be used in the refrigeration which are open system can you want to explain just name condenser expansion power plant expansion valve will start expansion valve and uh, compressor will do turbines ha huh? turbine no no in uh, refrigeration why you need turbine sorry yeah yeah in data uh, like there we can say but uh, here uh, for example uh, we will be not okay compressor uh, and uh, turbines turbine valve will be there okay compressor and what is the difference between pump and compressor quickly can anyone tell pump handles water compressor handles air means for gaseous uh, thing if you want to compress then we will be using the uh, compressor and uh, for the liquid if, it, if we are going to compress then it is the pump okay so one is the expansion valve compressor then uh, we can say compressor what is the use of condenser liquefy What is the similarity between expansion valve and condenser? 
Oh, sorry, not expansion valve, evaporator. Can anyone tell what is the similarity between these? Constant pressure. Pressure devices. Okay, constant. What is the name of constant pressure devices? Can you tell? Heat exchanger, right? Heat exchanger, constant pressure device. You you would have to remember this because evaporator is also heat exchanger. Work is to just extract heat from the confined space where we want to cool in. So it is taking heat from cooled plate evaporator. And condenser it rejects heat to surrounding means uh, the temperature is more of working fluid and uh, uh, corresponding to that of surrounding. So both are heat exchanger. Uh, just a turn of heat from one place to another place. So both are heat exchanger and constant pressure devices. Okay. So open system. One uh, one thing we come to know like the open system. Usually we are going to deal with. So um, what is the work for open system? Work done for open system. Anyone knows? Minus VDP. Integral. Integral of minus VDP. Minus VDP. Okay. So let's suppose uh, the process for v, P V to the power n. Hello. Hello, sir. Okay. There is a process P V to the power n equal to constant. So what would the work put in for open system? A P one V one minus P two. Why is it written? P1 V minus P2 V2. Why gamma minus one? Not here, right, gamma. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, n by n minus one. So, uh, this is the this. Okay. What are the jumpsons here? Can anyone tell? Hello. Hello. It's a perfect case. What? Okay. It's a perfect case. Okay. Yeah. And uh, more important assumption we here we assume like process are reverse in nature. Right. Hello. Sir, why it is a perfect gas? Actually, uh, thing is ideal. Okay, we say we can say is ideal for ideal gas, but we can say perfect. So, okay, we, uh, real we can't say. Real for real gas, uh, question would be there because real gas P V is equal to N R T uh, applicable. So, ideal and perfect gas we can think of a similar thing. Okay. Okay. So here, more important thing is. reversible process is applicable to reversible processes only okay if process is irreversible then how will you find because this would be coming in your question that's why initially i am telling okay so how you find work if process is irreversible for open systems uh, sir h2 minus h2 Why H2 minus H1 only work? Okay. This is also. No, no. It is for specific uh, means um, only few specific cases it would be there, or for all cases it would be there. Only sir, few specific cases. So for all cases, how would you calculate that? Any other way to find the work for specific uh, for the open system work? For the H two minus H two minus U two minus H one minus U um, one. What what what? Okay. For open system, uh, which equation you generally? Okay. 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 In 
एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन इक्वेशन फॉर ओपन सिस्टम्स कैन यू सर q plus m h व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट इक्वेशन स्टेडी फ्लो एनर्जी इक्वेशन हां स्टेडी फ्लो इक्वेशन विद दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन फाइंड द वर्क फॉर ओपन सिस्टम आइदर रिवर्सिबल इट रिवर्सिबल व्हाट इज इट विल बी ओके सो व्हाट इज दिस दैट इक्वेशन h1 plus v1 square h1 plus v1 square v1 square divided by 2 plus mm-hmm. is that one sir that one that one plus b2 divided by dm okay, i just keep first i will define the system then system let's suppose q heat is we are going to give system and the w work we are going to get okay so q here because it is the energy inlet to the system and it is the energy outlet both would be equal okay so work done by the open system so is it clear where we have to use this formula and where we have to go for the steady flow energy equation is it clear or not if anyone has doubt then please ask me now hello do i go forward yes sir yes sir so um, enthalpy is function of uh, temperature only for all working fluids is it fine enthalpy function of temperature for all working fluid correct or not i know someone Sir, are you talking about Clapeyron equation? Not Clap classic Clapeyron equation. From there, what do you use? You used to get change in pressure by uh, changing in the temperature or change in temperature by change in pressure. That you used to get from there, na? Yes, sir. Yes. That's it. From thermodynamic property relation chapter, you come to know this thing. So, is the function of pressure and anyone? pressure volume volume or other gas we use to know na if anyone don't know like how it it is mean but actually you have to know before uh, learning thermodynamics uh, before learning the rsc you should know thermodynamics so thermodynamics in phase was already completed and all these things i have told there you can see lectures also i think recording are there okay so this thing uh, are done. so quickly i will say like because we have to calculate at each point here so if someone don't know for their information i will quickly tell and uh, let's suppose this is ts curve and uh, what is this line anyone can tell this line what i am drawing constant pressure it is constant pressure line so you know the enthalpy of this point and this point 
and this temperature pressure constant sorry this pressure you know okay so this is hf and this is hg so this is the first point we let suppose and this is point a and this is the second let's suppose this is the second point and this is the third point this is the b point okay so uh, is there anyone like who cannot divide the if you know the property at point a and point b you know the property of this and its pressure saturation temperature you know yes so can you get calculate like and therapy at one for entropy at one entropy at s2 entropy at s3 similarly and then h1 and then at h2 and then h at s3 would you have calculate or not yes sir yes sir because i, I will quickly tell it is constant pressure i know okay so what is the formula for entropy change in entropy uh, cp ln t2 by t1 ln t2 by t1 then is it correct or not hello yes sir is it this one correct or not anyone yes sir it's correct so here uh, it is constant pressure line so p2 and p are constant so this term would be would not be applicable here so simply if you know that uh, entropy of uh, first calculate the enthalpy then entropy will calculate entropy we can anyhow find cp we know is for this uh, fluid and cp ln and let's suppose from here to here we would be going so what will be the t2 the t2 if from 1 to a if we are ts by t1 by ts is t a and both are same we will t a will run t a by 1 and here you know everything cp you will be knowing t a you will be knowing t1 you will be knowing so same way uh, How will you calculate uh, uh, S two? Anyone quickly? Uh, sir, S one. S F S F plus H two S F F G sir. Uh, here you you like uh, you have to find the dryness fraction first at that point, and that's why you have to find S two would be the S plus X S F G. And S E would be the S G minus S A. And what would be three? Same way. Like this way from one to A we have gone. Now we will go from to three. This would be the C P N T C minus D Y. Sir. Sir, entirely we can use these equations, sir, because generally these are used for uh, perfect gases. For what? Um, these equations C P L N T two by T one. Ah, uh, these equations are especially meant for perfect gas methods. Mm -hmm. So, will we be able to use in uh, states? Sir, my voice is breaking. Is it uh, for others? Hello. Uh, no, sir. Sir, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think my microphone uh, here, here, but sir, some problem. Okay. So, can you speak again? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, uh, this um, DS equation is there, sir. Mm -hmm. Cp ln T2 by T1. This one. Mm -hmm. So here, these equations are meant for perfect gases only, right? Yeah, ideal gas and perfect gas. If two words are there, then we can use this equation. If real gas is there, then we can't use that term. Okay. 
So, but actually, uh, in state one, it is in uh, liquid state, no sir. Uh, state one, you are saying, right? Yes, this one. Here, EP would be uh, both for and would be different. Here, CP would be of liquid, and here, CP for the gas. And actually, this equation is valid for only gases, okay? But yes. it will it will come same. Because why? Because what would be the um, Q from here to here? What is the entropy? dQ by T, right? Yes. Huh. And what is the uh, dQ? Cp dt. Right? Cp dt by T and then simply we integrate. Then same equation will come. This for the liquids. Got it? Yes. For liquids, anyhow, this equation work. Uh, if pressure even varying, then also it can work. So, this, uh, that equation will come from here. So, same way we can, uh, we can calculate, right? What would be the HA? HA we know, what would be the H1? It would be the HA minus CP of liquid in the TA minus T1, right? Hello? Oh, yes, sir, yes. it is clear. So, same way we can find H2, H2 would be HA plus XHFG and what would be the H3, same way like H1 we have written, it would be the H here, apart from minus here will, will, it will become plus because HB would increase from this one. So, HB plus TP of vapor or gas. T3 minus T2. Okay. So, uh, this formula you should be knowing, uh, but uh, I told you maybe it, it might, you might not be knowing uh, or forgot, so it would be better. If anyone wants to note those formula, note it, note it uh, otherwise take a screenshot. Then, uh, okay, so then we will go forward. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, one small doubt. Yeah. Sir, actually, in case of state one, you told that actually, in uh, even when pressure changes, we can use this formula, yeah, sir. Yeah. So, same thing we can apply, sir. Minus yeah, R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, for pressure, you have you used like uh, like cycles and say, have you done? The entire cycle actually what happens mm -hmm. this way. Here pressure will be like how much? Any, any idea? Here pressure uh, means a lot big means uh, it would be close to bottom it is put up to 40 to 50 bar or some so like that. And here pressure is like something point uh, some kill. Anyone 
what is the cop and uh, difference between cop and fec quickly can anyone tell first what is the difference between cop and efficiency so cop is for uh, work um, absorbing devices and uh, efficiency is for work producing devices okay this is for the which devices we use this you know what they told what uh, what value of the cop what value of efficiency generally signifies can you understand what is cnc tells how good system is right generally this yes. is right if more is the efficiency more would be the more good system would be right hmm. so same way for cop cop for absorbing devices two type of work, work absorbing devices one is the refrigerator another one what is uh, what is the difference between both in one line can i based on the effect of heat pump we use Sir, when, 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 what? when we have to heat our body? Oh, some proper thing, proper defined. What is the heat? Sir, the desired effect is, is heating the body. Actually, uh, for refrigerator, what I told here, first first slide, this. When we have to maintain a space. Below surrounding temperature, then device used as refrigerator. That is a phenomenon of refrigeration, right? Same way. The heat pump. The heat pump want, is the first one for refrigeration. Ah, where we want to maintain a space, let it suppose temperature T1 and surrounding T0. If we want to maintain a space T1 is more than T0, then which one device we are using is known as heat pump. Okay, simple one word definition you remember. One space that temperature you want to uh, maintain above the room temperature, and then which device we are using is heat pump. So uh, similar for the refrigerator also. T not T one, and whenever uh, T one is less than T not means we want to change this temperature below the surrounding temperature. When we, that time we will using the devices in refrigerator. Okay, clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what is COP now? Hmm? Not extracted due to pure water. Refrigeration is not okay. Work supplies. Okay, refrigeration is okay, okay, but it is for the refrigerator uh, because both we used to find the COP for both things, so you should write desired effect. Means for the heat pump, desired effect is the higher temperature, and for the desired effect. that means what you want here you want higher temperature in your uh, and here you want lower temperature in your space so that is the desired desired effect desired effect is better or what can you want it desired effect is heat pumped out ah, it is the amount of heat that you have to extract it is not you right it is the temperature t1 side effect upon energy input so one formula you would be knowing right because let's suppose this is the temperature t2 this is a work absorbing device this is the temperature t1 and this is q1 and this is the q2 let's suppose this is the w we are given So let's suppose uh, one time it will act as a heat, one time it will act, act as a refrigerator. Then uh, what would the relation between both COP? COP heat pump uh, equal to one plus COP of refrigerator. This formula you should be knowing.
so uh, my one simple question is let's suppose think it is the cannot cycle think of okay let's suppose this is the cannot engine heat engine this is the t1 this is the t2 heat q1 टेम्परेचर ऑफ दिस रेजर वायर कैन एन इवेंट इन Like by doing this, it will increase. By increasing this, it will increase. Can I can anyone tell for heat engine? By reducing T two and increasing T one. Hmm. Means T two decreases and T one increases. Now my question is, if we want to, if we want, we will decrease the value of T one and T two same. Like well, let's suppose five degree will decrease this, and five degree uh, sorry, five degree will increase this, and five degree will increase this. Where the increase in efficiency would be more? My question here or not? Yes, sir. Lowering yes. the temperature, yes, sir. T two. Decreasing the T two is the most effective way to the increasing the efficiency of the heat engines. Mm -hmm. So decrease in T two would be more effective than. Right. By decreasing T two and constant T one. Yeah, yeah. Means one by one we have did, and then we have to find it more better. So we said uh, decreasing T two is more better. How you find this? Can anyone tell? If anyone to find like what it is decreasing and increasing. Third law of thermodynamics, sir, to maintaining the zero no. Kelvin temperature at the ambient temperature. I am saying like I would say like five degree uh, five degree temperature of T two will decrease and five degree temperature of T will increase. Then how much percentage of efficiency by uh, here you will get in, means difference in how calculate how you have found either remembered or uh, anywhere how will you find? Anyone? Because same way we are going to do for the our refrigerator also. Okay, that's why I am saying. Any idea? If you do know the change with relative to something, then what do you used to do? Divide करते हैं सर. Derivative. We want to know the change efficiency by changing in temperature T1. We want to know the change in efficiency by changing the temperature T2. Means if we want to know the change in efficiency by varying uh, by changing in the temperature T1, then simply uh, differentiate it with respect to T1. Something you will get, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Similarly, change in efficiency by varying temperature T2. Something you will get. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, so here some functions you would be getting, and here also you would get some functions. Uh, D T one and D D two. D T two. I already told it in degree, right? I told na. Yes, yes. Degree by five degree. Yes, sir. So simply here some value you putting and multiply that, and some value you be getting for this. And when this work. For whichever case, then it is more effective. So this way you have to find like. I am not going to find here. Just I showed the way like this way you can. Okay. So similarly, my question: Which way is more effective way to uh, enhance the COP of this system? COP of our refrigerator. That that is my question. My question: Clear or not? Ah, uh, clear, sir. 
हाँ हाँ तो वन टू केसेस विल मेक वन फॉर रेफ्रिजरेटर एंड वन फॉर हीट पंप सो आई थिंक सी ओ पी फॉर बोथ यू फाइन फॉर लेट सपोज इट वुड बी दी वन बाई टी टू माइनस टी वन एंड इट वुड बी दी टू बाई सॉरी So when the way I have tried uh, showed you same way when you do do this way, then then you will get like here increasing the uh, sorry decreasing the TH would be more effective way. And here opposite will happen, right? Hello. And increasing the TL here. Me to. Uh, would be more effective way. so remember these things because in mcq directly it might ask then that time you have to find like how it is working if if you don't know this way na then simply you are putting temperature and trying to find out it will take time so simply write it and differentiate it and get it okay yes sir is it clear to everyone or not yes sir yes sir Now uh, we will simply. What would be the cycle for heat engine? Sir, nine kind cycle. Nine kind cycle. Nine kind cycle. Right. So, so same way for refrigeration. What would be the ideal cycle? Reverse Carnot. It will reverse Carnot. Same way. I am not going to explain each each of the process here. Just simply I will draw because in the TS diagram, a Carnot cycle is like a rectangle. So here same rectangle will will come, but uh, it come anti-clockwise, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Ah. So quickly, you have to tell which process is which. One, two, three, four. Four. I have mentioned one, two, 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 three, three, two, four, four, two, one. What is one, two, two? Compressor work. Yeah, but it compressor. थर्मल वाट हिट रिजेक्शन So three two four. We complete. Yes, sir. Same. Okay. Idea for the expansion. Isotherm. Same way here. Isothermal. Heat addition here. Yeah. Uh, same way here. It will take heat from the wherever we want to cool the space. Okay. So this is the way. So what is the COP of the cycle? COP of cannot. Refrigeration cycle, or reverse Carnot, RC. We can see here. Both way we can write. So, what would be the value of this? T two minus T four. One minute. What are saying? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell. One minus T two point T one. T two minus T four. T two minus T. T two by T two by T one. Okay, because here T and T four are same, right? And here T two and T three are same. So simply we can write as higher temperature and lower temperature would be better. So same way, any way you can write, you can write. Okay. You know now what is refrigeration? Uh, uh, sorry, here the COP's subscript. What is it? CR. 
COP4 cannot refrigeration cycle. Yeah, if you are not if you write then RC it will become. Okay. Sir, but the expression is right, hmm? sir. सही नहीं लग रहा सर। ओह सॉरी। रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट इस T1 माइनस T4 राइट। सर T1 माइनस T4 तो सेम है। T1 माइनस T4 T1 एंड T4 तो सेम है ना? हम्म हम्म। So how will you find the refrigeration effect here? T1 by T2 माइनस T1। अरे मतलब COP बता। T1 by T2 माइनस T1 होगा ना? Okay, so I water is water we can you we use as a refrigerant or not? Yeah, we use it in the lithium bromide refrigeration system, sir. Okay, when we can use it? Any application? Like for ice making, can we use water as a refrigerant? No, sir. Water can be used. Water is a good refrigerant, but it has only one desired one, one bad property. What is that property? Not making the below the zero degree centigrade ah, temperature. It it's a melt. Freezing point is less the freezing point is zero. Freezing point is less. So that's that is only property that uh, otherwise water is very good prop refrigerant. मतलब freezing property is high. Freezing point is high. इस वजह से हाँ, freezing point is high. If we want to make ice, then we have to go below in minus temperature we want, and that time should be liquid. Otherwise, it will freeze in the system. Okay. Okay. So one more. Can you know COP of like uh, AC and COP of Refrigerator. Which is more? Air conditioner, sir. Air conditioner, right? Why? Because of working in the positive temperature, sir. Hmm. Same way. If, let's consider it is also working on the Carnot cycle. Then uh, COP of air conditioner would be more because it's a Desired temperature is more because AC when generally our AC is working low 21 to 23 degrees Celsius, right? And where the fridge is working close to minus 5, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Minus 5 to minus 10 degrees. Celsius. So when this we will try to find this uh, that uh, COP, then the COP of AC is more. Then what is the COP? COP is more. And but we if COP is more, then our bill should be less. That is the our uh, mean we used to think of. Then why in the AC our monthly bill is more? Can anyone? Because the, because the volume to cool is very much la, uh, large. Yeah. Has to cool uh, cool the bigger surrounding AC. AC used to extract more amount of heat. And uh, while for the fridge it is very small amount. So, whether it, although COP of the AC is more, but uh, it has to extract more amount of it. So, that's why we have that monthly bill is more. So, what is the work input? It is the desired effect by COP, right? If desired effect is very much, then uh, what will be the COP? Then uh, energy required is more. So you can calculate this way. Sometimes question will come like uh, you, you can find the desired effect but you have to find the how much monthly bill you have to pay. That time you have these things you have to keep in mind. Like you have to find the work input and work input will to which unit? Kilo joule, right? And uh, okay, this simply one question will solve then it will be better right now. And one more thing I want to let you know. Because, because heat transfer, it is not yet temperature is 1000 Kelvin and let's suppose another reservoir at 500 Kelvin. 
they are working through, what what they say in between it is showing anyone can tell me what it is heat engine sir heat exchanger सॉरी सर सॉरी मतलब ये दो डिवाइस हैं हीट इंजन और एक मशीन दोनों हैं हीट एक्सचेंजर और मशीन दोनों हैं गिविंग वर्क इट वर्किंग फ्लूड इन साइकिल ओके इट इज इट इज दिस मीनिंग इज लाइक दैट ओनली लाइक इट विल कंप्लीट द साइकिल सो माय स्टेन इज like uh, he will not transfer like it is such a 500 year 500 year it it will not transfer right hello yes sir so thing will come like uh, in question it will tell uh, reservoir at this fluid temperature 30 kelvin sorry 500 kelvin and solid can and it transfer from reservoir to actually in refrigerator what what flows the present flows right hello ha yes sir got it sir continue so uh, if it in it will say like he transferred from reservoir to fluid there we used to maintain some degree celsius uh, temperature difference like let's suppose here it will be we are maintaining 30 degree celsius temperature difference from both side of working fluid so from here the surrounding will uh, when the uh, heat transfer will go from here to here when its temperature is how much less 970 and uh, its temperature would be 530 then only 30 degree celsius difference is there so my question is for uh, computing the cop which temperature you will know got my question or not 30 and 9 Sir, 530 and 970. So, 530 and 970. Yeah. So, order to calculate either efficiency. Same thing I can happen with heat engine also. Okay. Efficiency or COP. Uh, you to take temperature of working fluid. Okay. Got it. Hello. Yes, Here, temperature of working fluid is like it is 530 and 970. Clear or not? Sir, but uh, it should be less than 530, na? Which one? No, just uh, I said. Like, uh, just I said like it temperature. Let's suppose here the temperature difference is 30 degrees Celsius. That's why I took to 530. Ah, uh, sir, four seventy should be there. Which one? Uh, ये 530 की जगह पर क्योंकि वो heat extract कर रहा है ना तो low temperature होना चाहिए ना वहाँ पर। Oh sorry sorry आप ये try करो क्या नहीं थी। Okay. Here आप लोग okay. Four seven and here also it will project आपने। One zero three zero. Can you kindly repeat this point? Sir, 1030 होगा ना? Why? Because heat is flowing from मतलब कि heat engine की तरफ से 1000 Kelvin की तरफ जा रही है। तो I तो sir वहाँ पे 970 की वजह 1030 होता ना? Why? Otherwise heat will not be able to flow into that uh, 1000 Kelvin divide space. ऑफ 
atmosphere means uh, if the reservoir temperature is given and the uh, working fluid temperature is given, you must ah, consider the temperature of working fluid. Next. What was it? And then what do you say? So means uh, like if both reservoir temperature and uh, the working fluid temperature is given, uh-huh. you must consider the temperature of working, working fluid only. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Later, along with you, this time I will not be solving uh, for today. We will not be solving much questions, but in from next class, we will be solving questions, okay? And the most from conventional side will do because there uh, we can solve one question and a lot of questions we can uh, cover. But today, only basics we have studied, so that's why I haven't took much question. So, here uh, I will quickly read. Sir, I in one ton of resolution. What what? Uh, T U means T U N N N E or T U N. In a uh, ton of resolution, uh, it's uh, T U N N E or T U N. I mean thousand. In one ton of resolution, then. Thousand. 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 Thousand.
No, 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 I haven't said for you, not six. सी आ रहा है सर सर कौन आ रहा है हेलो फाइव सर सी सर वन इज फाइव सिक्स वन इज सिक्स एनी अदर आंसर सी ओके सो विल रीड इज द हीट इंजन विथ गिवन एफिशिएंसी ऑफ पॉइंट फोर हियर दे हैव गिवन द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ पॉइंट एंड आर इज द you have to find things and it will cancel okay any parameter you can use so q2 would be 1.5 of w right hello yes so uh, from here we can find the things q1 knows q1 is this and uh, Q2 Q2 also we knows and uh, Q4 we can find from okay so what is for in terms of w three times Q1 means seven point five of Q1 three times of this and minus of Q2 Q2 is what one point five of w one point five of w so what is Q4 Six W, right? Is it clear or not? Sir, how to get the Q two, sir? Hmm? How to get Q two, sir? Uh, Q two, Q one, Q one, you know, right? Q one is what? Two pi of the. Ah, yes, sir. Hmm. And uh, out of two point five, we got W two. So whatever we remaining, they will come out this way, right? हाँ ओके ओके सर क्लियर सर सो सिंपली व्हाट वुड द सीओपी ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेटर रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट बाय एनर्जी इनपुट रेफ्रिजरेशन इफेक्ट इज व्हाट दिस वी हैव फाउंड सिक्स डब्लू एंड व्हाट इज द एनर्जी इट इज डब्लू सो टोटल आंसर वुड बी सिक्स हेलो यस सर Sir, sir, if we if we do that one minus q one by q any any way you do no issue you can then, get then some then, then I am getting answer is five sir okay what you did okay sir I mean, did did uh, actually at first as as um, the uh, efficiency of the heat engine is zero point four hmm. so zero point four equal to one minus q two by q one hmm. Then getting Q2 equal to one minus one will write along with one minus Q2 by Q1. Then then I am getting the value of one. W equal to Q2 by Q1. Okay. Huh? Actually, I am not able to hear you. What you are saying? Hello. Sir, am I audible? Ah, uh, what you find from here? Just just quickly tell. Actually, I am getting the Q1. Okay. Q2. Q2 you found. Q2 you found then uh, how much it would be 0.6 of Q1 right? Q1 yes sir. Uh, then then what you did? Then you simply put here right? Q2 yes sir. Okay then you when you put here then what will become? This will, uh, Q2 Q Q4 will be how much? 2.4 right? 2.4 of Q1. And uh, now what W in terms of Q1 you tell? If you are solving in terms of Q1, then you have to solve in terms of Q1. What is W W in terms of Q1? 
zero point four, right? Because efficiency is so now divided it six will come now. And COP of refrigeration equal to Q three by W. Why Q three refrigerate? Ah, not heat pump. Getting or not getting? Even if you are calculating Q three by heat pump, now it will come seven, not six. Okay, okay. Clear or not clear? Uh, sir, yeah. uh, Q4 is uh, Q4 by W and uh, Q3 is Q4 plus W. So one W will have more come. So same will come. Clear or not? Yes, sir. Clear. <coughs> uh, okay. We will do this and uh, then number two will do. Just uh, um, read this question. Uh, one minute I will give and then we'll solve. It is simple question. Here uh, given that I will write. And from next class, if uh, someone is not having calculator, please uh, took. Otherwise, uh, no problem will be solved. Refrigerator stored by 36 kg means mass they have given 3600 kg of a fish at a temperature 27 degree Celsius. Uh, the, the fish has to be cooled to minus 20 degree Celsius for the preserving it for a long period without variation. The cooling takes place in 10 hours. The specific heat of fish is this. Have a freezing point of fish and the 0 0.5 below the freezing point, which is minus 3 degrees Celsius. The latent heat of thing is this. What is the power to drive the plant? If actual COP is half of the ideal. Like how many of the who have, who haven't got like what to do here? Please can raise hand. Yes, sir. Is there anyone, if, you, if someone is like that, then I will start from basics, sir. That's why I am asking. If you are able, then I will do quickly. Able to do, sir. It is calculated the essence fully. It, 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 it taught it's not me. like one or two people, no. Other will say like five, four people, five, four, two, three people, even one people will say like I am not getting how to do. Then I do from zero. Means slowly, slowly I will do. If some, everyone is getting what to do, then I will do quickly. Second, you can leave something else. No sir, I don't know sir. No sir, I don't know sir. So please uh, solve it uh, from yeah, yeah. zero. If someone is not getting, then you tell like, uh, don't go fast, and uh, like that you have to tell. Okay. So uh, first year. Uh, one minute. Mass we know. So what is this? Refrigerator storage is supplied with uh, this much kg of fish at a temperature 27 degrees Celsius and the fish has to be cooled to minus 23 for the preserving it for a long time. Means from 21 degrees Celsius to minus 23 it has gone. Like this we will do. So suppose, oh sorry, one minute. Sir, can you tell the answer? You tell, I will check. S 60 RR, 60 kilowatt. I think 60 kilowatt. Mm. 60, I think wrong. Yes, sir. Mm. Check, check. I think it is not correct. Go again. Yeah. Okay. So, from here to this side, 20 degrees Celsius, right? 
then it started started cooling and uh, I will give example from water. Then it will be better too. The drinking of water. Zero degrees. Zero degrees, right? So let's suppose he pulling water from. Thirteen degrees Celsius to minus seven degrees Celsius. Okay, we will pull like that. So from thirteen degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius, at which type of cooling would be there? Sensible, sensible cooling. Sensible cooling. And uh, uh, here we will be getting zero degrees Celsius. It is liquid here. Here zero degrees Celsius liquid will be get. And then again here solid will become, but its temperature would be zero degrees Celsius only. Hmm. So here which type of latent cooling will happen? Got it. Sixteen is not present yet. नहीं सर प्रेजेंटेड है हमको तो दिखाई दे रहा है। I haven't created anything to do. You just refresh and it will come again. Refresh or just leave the meeting again join. So after zero when will cool again? Again sensible heating will come. Sorry sensible cooling will come. And here you have to keep in mind here the C of liquid you have to use. Okay. Just keep in mind. Here CP of solid you have to use. Only these mistakes you can do. Otherwise everything is correct. So same way we'll do for here uh, you now. So here uh, freezing point is minus eight degrees Celsius. Minus three degrees Celsius. And after this it will means here it is liquid and. Uh, Here it will be in solid. It will become so, but it is minus three degrees Celsius only. And after that, which temperature is there? Okay, so we have to go to okay. here. What is the value P? Two kilojoule per kilogram. Right? What is the uh, let heat here? Two thirty kilojoule per kilogram. And what is the state here for the freezing after freezing? Zero point five kilojoule per kg. So now simply we we need to find the here we have to find like how much heat we have to extract from the. थर्टी सिंपली फॉर योर वन के जी एंड हियर अगेन पॉइंट फाइव एंड हियर ट्वेंटी डिग्री डिक्रीज माइनस थ्री टू माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी सो हाउ मच इट विल बिकम से सेवेंटी एंड थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड किलो पर के जी राइट सो फॉर थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड हाउ मच इट वुड बी टोटल टू टोटल Q total would be 300 into 
here with power power means any unit can be one to no how much we have to give so it is the total it is in the kilojoule and it is happening in how much time 10 hours so in hour it is happening 10 hour means per second if we convert 10 hour we convert to second it become 10 into 30 second 3600 30 second will go 30 kilowatt here it will become about 30 kilowatt so uh, sir सर इसका आंसर 12 किलोवाट है क्या वो जो पावर रिक्वायर्ड है आई डोंट नो एक्चुअली आई विल विल सी एंड इट विल कम सो एनीवन कैन हेल्प लाइक हाउ यू विल नो नो द सीओपी नाउ टेल व्हाट इज द आइडियल सीओपी टी एल बाय सी माइनस टी एल व्हाट व्हाट टी एल बाय टी एच माइनस टी एल simple cannot reverse cannot we have to use okay and what is the tl tl is 250 and what is the ts ts is this you have to 300. convert every it is to kelvin not put in degree celsius so what is the tl 250 250 1 and uh, what is this 280 minus 250 right ts minus tl is 50 right Mm. 27 minus of minus 23. Yeah, minus 23 like that we can. H is uh, this 27 and uh, Kelvin also do because uh, scale is uh, you have to take difference. So anyway you can take. So it will become COP is 5. Which COP it is actual COP? Yeah. Ideal COP is 5 but actual is half of that. So actual COP it would be what? 5 by 2. means 2.5. So we know COP. We know what amount of heat we want to extract. So energy input we can easily calculate. It would be what would be the formula? Can anyone tell? Hello. Q by C. Desired effect by actual C. So here would be like whatever amount we have to extract. 30 kilowatts 30 divided by 2.5 2.5 so total will become 12 kilowatt okay so um, it is the problem like here you have to find find like how much total amount of heat you are extracting then uh, any you don't know what is the cop you calculated cop ideally by first then you calculate the actual cop on the based of given condition Uh, you calculate the amount of power required so same way you can say like for one unit you are going to pay 5 rupees in whole month you are going to how much bill this this type of question also can be done okay yes sir Two simple problems are there. Just to take the screenshot of that, and next class will solve. Just to let me know the answer. The way we, uh, I think it is the similar we did. Yeah. I will give the hint, and uh, you try. In the check refrigerator, two degrees Celsius heat is given. Means it is desired effect temperature they have given. And as on the average thermal load, this this is the this is the desired effect he, that also he gives. The ambient temperature three degrees Celsius. Main temperature also given. The C O P refrigerator is equal to 0.15 times of the Carnot refrigerator. So ideal C O P you can calculate. Ideal C O P that you get and the actual would be the actual would be the 0.25 times C O P ideal. So C O P would be knowing the actual C O P and after that you want the electricity consumption. So we know the thermal load. Thermal load is what? Kilo joule hour they have given, but here they want. So you convert that to kilowatt first. It is the uh, like uh, this is the desired effect. D right? Desired effect. Eight thousand by thirty six hundred. It will become in. Uh, it will come kilowatt. You 
can find W. W would be desired effect by actual COP. 1.51 kilowatt. COP actual. This way you can take it. Might be 1.51. Okay, this is this is right. Okay, just try if the answer is not coming. Let me know in the next class. I just I will just quickly give hint for this and next problem. You take a screenshot of that, then we'll go. Should I go? Yes. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take a screenshot. So here yeah, also same problem. Uh, refrigeration system of an plant working between these two temperature ranges, they have been lower and higher. Produces 20 kg of ice per minute. Per minute, it is asking. Uh, from water at 20 degrees Celsius. Specific heat of what is this? And the latent heat of our water is the refrigeration capacity of the refrigeration. What is the refrigeration capacity? Only desired effect we have to take, right? Simple problem is in kilojoule minute. In one, one minute, how much ice they are in? We have to take. Getting or not getting? Getting, sir. Simply, you have to find the desired effect. No COP, nothing. So, try to solve this problem. Let me know the answer in next class. It's okay. a simple problem. Yeah, that's why I am given not done. सर इसमें आइस जो प्रोड्यूस हो रही है माइनस फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस पे हो रही है मतलब उस तक का It is ambiguous that they have, it is a problem from the ESC, okay, there is there you, sometime maybe problem there is to give. Here they haven't mentioned, so first you have to calculate for 0 degree Celsius ice, if your answer is not matching then you have to go for minus 5 degree Celsius ice. Someone would be matching, out of these two, but it is ambiguous, they haven't mentioned. Most probably it would know nothing given, but it would be going till minus 5. Okay, so for today it would be the th next class will start VCRS and that is the important part actually. Here just it is for the basics. So he just came to know like how in therapy we radiation is there, pressure varying. So how we will be uh, processes we are going to calculate the therapy. First we will see the VCRS then quickly go, go through the separate on site. That way, yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, for the state one in the uh, in that dome, I mean, uh, the, we have calculated the value for the entropy S1. But actually, I am not able to uh, here probably. Uh, so, uh, uh, while we were discussing that uh, uh, TS diagram, I mean, the that uh, graph of the ranking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the st uh, state entropy at stage 1 uh, is given as CP of liquid LNTA by TR. Yeah. Uh,